Hey everybody, my name is Lena and I want to thank you for joining me on our weekly meditation. Now this week our meditation is coming from Ephesians chapter 1 verses 5 and 6 and I'm going to be reading this from you first from the New King James Version and then I'm going to read it from the New Living Translation. Okay, so in the New King James, it says, Having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Amen. Now I'm going to read it from the NLT. It says, God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. This is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious grace he has poured out on us who belong to his dear son. Now I have here, we're accepted in the beloved. God's love for us isn't based on our behavior, but on what Jesus has done for us. Now, I really like these scriptures, um, and they meant a lot to me just because of, you know, my background and where I came from. But what I really love here, it says God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family. Amen. And uh, in the New King James, it says, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ. Amen. So God predestined that we would be his, that we would serve him, that we would be his children. Now, I've heard many teach that, you know, that predestination, it works in the good and in the bad, that God predestined some to serve him, but that God predestined that some would reject him. But that's not true. I want to read to you 2 Peter 3, 9, and I'm going to read that from the New Living Translation. You know, it says, the Lord is not really being it says the lord isn't really being slow about his promise as some people think no he is being patient for your sake he does not want anyone to be destroyed but wants everyone to repent amen it says he's not being slow you know about his promise as some people think he's being patient because he it's not god's desire for anyone to be destroyed he wants everyone to come to repentance and come to him so going back to the scripture where it says that god decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through jesus christ god has made salvation available to all god has given out a blanket call, so to speak, to all of mankind. He says, hey, I love you. You're my creation and I want you to be mine. I want you to come to me. I want you to be my sons and my daughters. And I want you to have all the goodness that I have, that I have in my heart for you. I want you to be able to receive that. That is God's desire for all mankind. But will all mankind accept the call and come? Will all mankind be saved? Will they come to salvation? No. Some some people will choose to reject God. Some people will choose to reject the call, you know, and in that instance, you know, it's not anything that father can do about it because he has made us with free will. He has given every human being the, the gift of free will. So we have the right to choose, you know, and that's what God wanted. He wants us to choose him. Amen. You know, God could have created us as mindless drones that just go about, you know, doing, you know, whatever, you know, like animals, for example, you you know, they have instincts. So just by instinct, you know, geese know to fly south for the winter and, you know, stuff like that. Bears know to hibernate and things of that nature. And, you know, God could have created us like that with mindless, as mindless drones. But no, he created us in his image. He gave us the right to choose. Why? Because God wants us to choose him. He wants us to choose him and choose his ways each and every day. Think about it yourself, like if you're in a relationship, amen, you want to be in a relationship with someone who chooses you every day. You don't want to be in a relationship with someone that feels like, oh, I'm just here with you because I have to be. No, you want someone who's there with you because they want to be, because they choose to be. And the same is true with Father. He wants us to choose him every day. And that's what that scripture in uh, 2 Peter 3, 9 was bringing out. He doesn't want, and God doesn't want any to be destroyed. He doesn't want any to perish. He wants all to come to salvation. So he's not really being slow about it his promises. Some people think he's being patient, amen, because he wants to give as much time as he possibly can for as many 
for as much of mankind as possible to accept him and to come to him and to become sons and daughters. I even love how the uh, New Living Translation puts that God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family. He decided in advance to adopt us. When a child is adopted, that's a totally different scenario. When a child is adopted, that means they have been chosen. You know, as parents, when we have our children, we don't get to choose the kind of kids we have, amen? God just blesses us with them and we love them and do the best we can. But when a child is adopted, that child has been selected. That child has been singled out. That child has been chosen by those parents, amen, to come into their home so that they can love. And that's what we have with the father. The father has chosen each one of us individually to be his children, to bring into the kingdom, amen, so that we can experience all the blessings that the kingdom has to offer. So guys, that's our uh, meditation, our weekly meditation, Ephesians 1, 5, and 6, and I'll put it in the description below in the New Living Translation, as well as in the King, the New King James Version in 2 Peter 3, 9. Amen. So on that note, guys, that's our weekly meditation. Thanks so much for watching. Again, you know, get get those uh, index cards, write this down, meditate on these on these scriptures. Amen. Use your reference Bibles or Biblehub.com. Look up these scriptures, you know, get some reference scriptures, meditate on this, ask the Holy Spirit to give you revelation on this word. And as always, thank you so much for watching and continued blessings.